pain d'épices or gingerbread or bread with honey or cake with honey. So this is a French version which is I love so much and normally you prepare it during the holidays. It has a lot of honey, a lot of it and a lot of spices. So I'm going to show you how to make this beauty. Yes, today we're doing uh, a bread or a cake called Le Pain d'Epice. We basically translate uh, into uh, the bread with spices. Um, the equivalent of this bread or this cake in the States it would be the gingerbread. But honestly, I think they are different. The, the, uh, they are quite different. The, the one uh, in, in the state here in our country it would be ginger and other spices, but um, sometimes egg, sometimes there is no egg. Very, there is some honey, but very little honey, a lot of molasses, a little, little bit of sugar. In the French version, the pain de piece is really my favorite one because it's spongy, it's very moist, and it has this dark mahogany, um, a brown mahogany uh, color. I like it. And the flavor is really really good you have that flavor of honey in your throat which is um, it's unique to this uh, bread and every time I go to France uh, because there that's where the, I see it mostly available and I believe it was born somewhere in Alsace Lorraine uh, a region between Germany and France and maybe I'm wrong uh, it looks like even in the ancient Egypt they were uh, baking this kind of bread anyhow so i'm going to share with you my own version i really I try so many different versions and i fail completely and i believe this is my best one i may improve it in the future but right now this is my best one this version has uh spices like ginger uh, cinnamon star anise anise a little bit of salt a little bit of butter but a lot of honey and I use raw honey, the dark mahogany uh, honey to give it this dark color and uh, I use a little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar and water, no egg, no milk, no cream, uh, that's it and that's how I get that taste I, I do find in those nice uh, gingerbread or the pain piece when I eat it in France. So I'm going to share this version. I hope you like it. It's really, really unique. And uh, let's get started. We're going to start with anise, star anise, cinnamon, cloves, ground ginger, and water. Then a large orange, then flour, baking soda, and salt. Then um, honey, butter, and brown sugar. We're going to grind our spices to get the maximum of flavor. This uh, bread or cake it rely heavily on freshness of the spices. So we're going to grind them. They don't need to be super fine, but take your time and grind them. the spices the ground spices in a pot with the water and the ground ginger then we put it on the stove to get it to the uh, to the boiling point the moment it get to the boiling remove it from the stove add the brown sugar and cover it and let it sit for a while then with a, a grater we're going to uh, grate some orange just make sure you get only the top layer not the white then add it to the liquid and let it sit until you're ready to use it 
now we're going to melt the butter and then after that we're going to add the honey make sure you have your best honey because you're going to taste it in this uh, bread and it's a very very important ingredient we're going to mix all the dry ingredients meaning the, the flour the salt and the baking powder most of the time uh, in all the recipes they use half rye flour and bread flour here I'm using 100 percent bread fl flour so now we're ready to go to the next step now we're ready to go to the next uh, step using a large strainer we're going to strain uh, the liquid from all the big pieces and then we're going to add the mixture which is between the honey and uh, the butter they are warm but they're not super hot so here we mix in all the liquid together and then using a stand mixer or just a large bowl you have where you have a dry uh, the dry ingredients with a flat beater uh, if you don't have a mixer you just use a large bowl with a large spatula then we're going to pour the liquid and we're going to mix this batter until we don't see any dry ingredients please take your time make sure you mix it very well and add li the liquid slowly it's always good to add as little possible for the, li uh, the liquid to the dry ingredient so the mixing can be smooth so now we're ready to place the batter in a mold i'm using the regular bread rectangle uh, pan and i'm going to coat it with melted butter you can use any oil and i'm using no stick pan and that helps to get the the bread out of the pan but still because of this batter is so liquid and moist i'm going to use the parchment paper to not run into any problem uh, this pan i have also they have a lid i just like that perfect a rectangle cube shape of this cake slash bread so uh, in case if you have one of those use them but when you put the batter in this mold the height of the batter should be no more than two-thirds um, so you it has enough uh, space to expand before it hit the lid uh, that is a very good advice you may want to follow if you have this lid Once we think that the, the bread or the cake is completely baked, we can always use the cake taster to make sure it comes out so clean. Wait a few minutes, it's still going to be hot and try to get them out of the pan and let them dry on a cooling rack for a few minutes. The internal temperature most of the time, if you want to check, is around 210 when they're completely baked. If you use the parchment paper, we're going to try to remove them. But remember, the, this bread or cake is quite soft, so you have to handle it gently. It's not ready to be eaten yet. There is another step 
Once the bread is completely cooled down, put it in a plastic bag, make sure you really close it and leave it in the refrigerator. Traditionally, people, they will leave it at room temperature for 24 hours. So we're just going to leave it in the refrigerator for an overnight. After a few days, now the first day, after the second day. It's so moist. It's really, really moist. Easy to cut it's like butter. Let's eat it. It's very moist. You can feel the spices and the honey. The honey, you really feel it right here. Very good. Very, very excellent. You can store it in the fridge for a few days you know, with no problem because it's, uh, there is so much honey. The honey is a very good preservative and you can also freeze it. Let's slice it first, okay? I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe, you share it with your friends and your family, you know what to do and leave your comments and let me know what you think. I'm sure this is not the only version, there will be uh, uh, comments about other versions, but please try this one. You will, uh, you will see that it's very special and very unique and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.